Howdy, 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 darling. I hope you're doing well. In this weekly pick a card reading, we have three options for you to be tapping into to see how your energy for this week is going to be. All right. Pile number one is the snake spirit. Pile number two is the dove spirit. And then pile number three is the rhino spirit. Once you make your choice about which pile that you want to pick for your pick a card tarot reading, darling, I always have it linked in the chapters below in the description box uh, where each of the timestamps are listed for each of the piles. So you can go straight to your tarot reading, darling. All right, let's begin. Alrighty, my darlings who chose pile number one, we have the snake spirit coming in here. You might be seeing snakes in your dreams or it's just popping up when you peruse through the internet, YouTube, TikTok, honey. All right, the snake spirit is associated with the number 55. All right, in old school numerology, you would combine this to equal number one. So write down the number one in numerology to see what messages are relevant in that definition for you for this week. All right, the snake spirit talks about the time to heal, darling. All right, so this is going to be a week uh for you guys where just a lot of healing happens daily deep thoughts with simply velka coming at you hot honey all right but i feel with this you guys need to be uh emphasizing on your heart chakra here feels as if this is a situation of where it's like receiving closure being able to move on from a situation no longer holding allowing this other energy to have any type of control over you and then we have the five of rings, five of pentacles coming in, darling. Insecurity and recovery. Yeah, darling, right? This is all about healing. That's the name of the game for this is healing. This is about really coming to terms with the situation and realizing that it's just not for you. You're no longer internalizing things after this week. You're releasing everything that no longer serves you and realize that anything that's meant to be in your life will be in your life. You realize that someone wanted to uh, take more effort when it comes to connecting with you they would take that effort right you're coming to peace with things right you're receiving closure even if the other uh energy is not involved in that closure i feel like you guys are just really elevating your mindset at this point in time so let's start unpacking this here we have the three of pentacles coming in you might be have been having some issues in the workplace i feel all right or in your finances this is going to be a week of where uh, opportunities are going to start coming forward for you to uh further your finances all right uh, in the work situation, though, if you've been having problems with an employee, maybe a boss um, or coworker, rather, um, Queen of Wands energy, I feel like you would be rewarded for taking a stand here, right? With this Queen of Wands stepping in, as well as this hanged man coming in as well, darling. <clears throat> Back of the deck here is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like with this situation here, you just need to be heard. That's what I feel like you're craving. You need you you are craving to be heard. You're craving to be acknowledged. You're craving for this energy to see you for who you are and no longer discrediting you. I feel like you've reached your I don't want to say breaking point because that implies that you're breaking, darling. I don't feel like you're breaking, but I feel as if you reached your limit with a situation where now you're at this point of being like it's time for a change. Something needs to change up here because. Because while you're not saying that you want to completely quit the situation here, if you're going to allow this energy to maintain in your life here, like changes need to be happening. Respect needs to be given here. Having your energy be appreciated for what it is rather than having it be passed off as you being too emotional, being too needy. You know, I see a lot of internalization here with this five of pentacles where with this situation here, it's just really taking a toll on just how you are personally seeing yourself. All right. I feel as if it's been really taking away your spark here due to the situation, uh, really just draining you because it's like for some of you guys, you I hear it's like you don't really care about why the situation has been playing out in the way that it's been playing out. All that you are looking for at this time is things to be rectified. All right. Whether that uh, situation gets rectified through conversation or whether that situation comes in a place of where you guys have to part ways. Right. As that queen of wands, you're not afraid of exuding your independence and showcasing that you don't need an energy because you don't, darling. You absolutely don't. We have the knight of wands coming in as well. All right. And so here's the thing. I feel like you might be getting challenged by uh, this energy here this week. All right. I feel as if this is why you guys need to really take a stand for what it is that you want, the respect that you you know you deserve here. All right. Because I see some energy here. This Knight of Wands, I see this energy challenging you as this Queen of Wands. It's almost like I'm being shown this uh, card in my head now 
from the Moon Oracle deck uh, where it talks about a, uh, your commitment is being tallow. <laughs> okay, I know that probably comes off as planned, darling, but it really wasn't. I just have the deck on the side here. <laughs> so, okay, that's crazy. Your commitment is being tested. And so, darling, this is apparently your card, honey, with how quickly that came out. All right. Uh, your commitment's being tested here. All right. You're being tested. This is your test, essentially. All right. And so this is your opportunity this week to get your power back. All right. And so, yeah, let's continue on with this. That was just crazy, honey. Like, I know it's off camera, so you all don't see, like, you, some of y'all probably will think that was planned. And that's all right, darling. But that was pretty crazy. Uh, we have the two of wands coming in as well. And then the Eight of Wands. Some of you guys might be anticipating some type of move here. And it might be becoming due to the fact of where it's like with this hanged man situation. It's it's as if you're seeing this as a situation where it's like it is what it is. By the end of this week, depending on how this Knight of Wands reacts to you, I feel as if you're not afraid anymore of changing up your long term plans. You're no longer afraid of putting a stand, putting your foot down with the situation and being like, hey, either respect me or I'm out. I don't feel as if you necessarily want to leave. Right. And the sense of like you would want the situation to uh, rectify itself without there being any hurt feelings and what have you here. But unfortunately, I feel as if for you, um, it's unfortunate for them, really not unfortunate for you. I feel like for you, your cycle is kind of just coming into a completion with this. This is really just giving me the sense of releasing, but in the least drama sense way here, right? Because we're not getting a bunch of painful cards. We're not getting like a five of wands here, honey. We're not getting a three of swords. This is quite literally a sense of where it's just like, you see a situation that just is not serving you. You try to talk about it and you finally say, it's like, hey, this is what I'm not okay with. And if they don't receive it, you're just like, all right, you know, you're giving them the deuces and you're just done. Six of Wands coming in, my favorite card in the Minor Arcana dialing. All right. And so I feel like ultimately this is going to be a week that is just by the end of this, you're going to end up winning. You're going to end up on top here. The Six of Wands represents victory. It's like getting the gold medal. And so while, yes, you had your commitment being tested, you're going to pass that test. All right. And so whether this closure looks like, whether, whether, whether this healing, right, with the snake spirit looks like for you a sense of where you have to walk away from a situation whether this closure happens because they actually give you a conversation or what have you by the end of this week just know that you are in perfect alignment with your path here just as long as you honor yourself as the queen of wands this is really the most important part darling is to really exude this queen of wands energy being as unapologetic darling as you can about being the queen of wands where you know the queen of wands in normal tarot she's represented she's the only card in the courts for the wands that doesn't have a salamander protecting them and so what that represents is the salamander represents not uh, immunity from fire essentially and so she's not afraid of getting burnt she's not afraid of being uncomfortable to follow in her heart's passions and her heart's desires here and so that's what y'all are going to be exuding and also the number one that we talked about in numerology for my darlings in pile number one remember that 55 equating to one in the major arcana one is represented by the magician all right the magician is the one that's in complete control i call it the mad scientist energy so it's kind of funny to see uh the magician in this way here um i don't know why but i feel like the strong aquarius energy is coming in this week as well um but with the magician energy, the magician is always in control. Even if there's chaos around them, the magician always has a plan. They manifest the reality that they want to see in this world. And it's just about them, honey. The magician doesn't ask for help because the magician doesn't need help. The magician doesn't need anybody around in their space to help with their experiments, to help with their creation. It is what it is, whether they want to be part of it or not. You know, at the end of the day, honey, all right, either they're with you or they're just completely irrelevant in your life here. All right. And so I feel really strongly for you guys by the end of this week, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stresses are going to be relieving themselves from you. And by the end of this week, you're going to start feeling a lot more like yourself, you know, and I feel like you'll be even caught off guard by that because I don't think y'all have realized like how much this energy has just impacted you and made you lose so much of your spark. 
So, uh, yeah, my darling people in uh, pile number one, that is the weekly tarot reading that I have for you. I do weekly zodiac readings, so be sure to check out your weekly zodiac sign if you want to book a reading with me, simply Velka. Dot com. Be sure to follow my social medias, TikTok and Instagram being Simply Velka. And I'll be connecting with you guys hopefully sometime in the near future. I love you so much, darling. Bye. Alrighty, my darlings, who chose pile number two? The Dove Spirit here. The Dove is associated with the number 21 equating to three in numerology. So look up the number three uh, in numerology to see what meaning that has for you for this week. The Dove Spirit talks about being at peace, darling. All right. So this is going to be a week of where things are going to start settling themselves down. I feel like you guys are going to be starting to get into a routine. I feel as if you guys are getting back on that horse. You're starting up something again, but only this time it's going to be a lot more successful. I feel and maybe that's me just being optimistic, but no, y'all are going to be absolutely successful this time around. Whatever this is, we have here the Empress energy coming in as well. Uh, this is talking about being centered. I just realized this card is misspelled in here. Centered, unless centered honey is a word, darling. All right, someone let me know in the comments, but I think this is supposed to be centered and abundant here. All right. And so, yeah, you guys are getting into a routine. This is confirming this with the Semper's energy of where it's like, this time it's different. Something's different about your energy here. Maybe you guys have started uh, developing... Uh, a new spiritual practice here connecting with something like, i feel as if there's just some something that you have implemented something has changed in your situation spiritually physically emotionally here that has really reminded you who you are but also has gotten you back in tune with your soul's purpose and getting back on track i'm being shown train so it's like getting back on track here and pushing forward I won't be surprised if we see the cherry energy because I feel like that's very much so cherry energy with the train representation. So let's start expounding on this here. Let's do one more bridge shuffle, darling. Girl, that was not a good bridge shuffle. Let's do one more. But yeah, you guys this week, you know, this is a week where I really want to celebrate you guys. Your discipline is going to be challenged. But I feel as if you're going to be up for the task here. We have these star energy, big playing cards continuing on here. Star energy. This is a wish being granted for you. This is healing, emotional healing. You guys are getting back. Like, as I said, the star energy by definition is being on the right path, chasing after your dreams. But also you only are able to do that through the balancing of emotions. That's why you see with the star, she is balancing out to liquid in the cup water, representing emotions here. I feel as if for you guys, you've always had the talent. You've always had the capabilities of accomplishing whatever it is that you've wanted to accomplish in your life. It just feels as if that due to life events that I see with that Empress energy and just stresses, it's like you haven't been able to fully give this situation your full energy because of just like your emotional well-being taking a toll your mental well-being taking a toll due to this chaotic life that you've been experiencing for quite some time right because remember the dove spirit being at peace here we also have and i also want to be pointing out darling the empress is associated with the number three as well <clears throat> all right and so you have three coming out twice for you it's not a coincidence darling all right and it wasn't on purpose either that i had that card there we have the world card coming in here, which makes a lot of sense. All right, makes a lot of sense here. The world card is the final card in the major arcana. It represents cl the closure of a cycle to begin a completely new cycle, finishing up a book and beginning a new book, All right? And so I feel like for you guys, part of the reason why you guys have been just going through this chaotic period is because as corny as it might sound, darlings, in my pile number two, with the Sempress energy, this is like the character building card. This is the card of where it's through life events, the Empress becomes the Empress and is in more in tune with uh, the universe and being, I mean, as this card says, centred, darling, or more centred. <laughs> um, and so I feel like for you guys with this world card coming in, it's impactful because it's like due to that chaotic life that you've been living, that cycle is now coming into a completion. Very Wheel of Fortune energy with this uh, dynamic here, with this pairing. 
Also take note, a lot of major arcana is talking about major transitions. So you really are in pile number two. Y'all are in this transition of starting a phase that's a lot more peaceful, honey. All right. We all could use a lot more peace in our life, especially during current events that have been happening, honey, for the past two, three years. Darling hasn't stopped. And then, ah, this is beautiful here. Now, I know initially, darlings, in pile number two, you're just like, honey, we just pulled the ten of swords. There's ten swords in this woman's back here, darling, right? What is beautiful about this? I'll tell you. Go along with this here, right? Tens represents closures to cycles. Following suit with this world energy here, right? And, and in this situation here, it's a painful cycle, right? Really emphasizing that sense of where I've, I've, it's just, whew, you know, y'all have probably been putting all of your energy into keeping your head above water, I feel. Keeping your head above water and not allowing circumstances to take you down, to not allow certain people bring you down. It's like you made it your goal to not allow what's been happening to you to make you better to not allow it to defeat you and you absolutely remain victorious it's what it is that you have been subjected to right uh, these trials and tribulations here the reason like it's through these situations here that not only have helped you tap into learning more about yourself here but it's like by the end of this tunnel which is coming for you it's like the world won't know what hits them it's like y'all are coming swinging in the best of ways y'all are in this place of being like you thought you knew me before darling you wait until you see me now y'all are in your glow up process i feel and it's finally because you're able to just take a pause from all this chaos the chaos is pausing so you can tr finally start feeling like yourself again finally start living life a little bit outside of keeping your head above water you can start enjoying life again i feel ace of pentacles coming in here right on that star energy i feel like you guys really for those that have been going through like some financial distress trying to find a job trying to bring just stability into your life with that earth energy here it's really going to be uh, happening big time this week. The opportunities are the path. The doors are going to start presenting themselves to you. And all you have to do is walk through those doors and take up on those opportunities because you're having a clean slate, darling, right? You have a clean slate coming in. We also have the Knight of Wands coming in. This is going to be a time of where the sense of just like youthfulness as I feel is what's going to be happening for you guys. And it's like, because of, and honey, we know, right? This, any, any of my adults, honey knows that how much stress and anxiety just ages you. You might have been experiencing a bunch of body aches recently. And I feel like this next chapter of your life, you know, the Knight of wands, the Knight of wands just does what it feels like doing in that moment, very spur of the moment, but it always is just the Knight of wands just follows with what feels good to them very just youthful again like i feel like you guys are just gonna be feeling like born again like shedding a skin three of wands stepping forward be paying attention to signs this week be paying attention to signs and omens for where spirits trying to direct you where spirits trying to guide you to because we have this ten of pentacles energy coming in here where spirits actively trying to guide you to as I said, spirit is sh showcasing these doors. All you have to do is walk through and identify where these doors are located. All right. And so be paying attention to signs, especially with three. You know, three might be guiding you at this time um, due to this, you know, repetitive numbers. You know, you have this emperor energy coming in as well. Y'all are just claiming your power back. You're claiming your power back. You are remembering who exactly you are. And it's through this remembrance that you're able to really just progress. Ooh, pile number two. Y'all are really ramping up to be powerful here. More powerful than what you are. And then we close out with this Hermit energy. Also take note, darling, we have so many impactful cards. Talk about, again, tens, cycles closing off. This is your third card now talking about closing off cycles. We have so many major arcanas here. One, two, three, four, five. Big transitions. And it's during this period of time, I feel like you guys are going to be more reflective, more reclusive, rather. I feel as if at this time, part of what that chaos was, was the people that you were surrounding yourselves with. Part of the chaos was trying to please people that were just never going to be pleased. Part of your chaos was trying to figure out how you're going to make 
certain energies work in your life especially for those that have been dealing with like family stresses and dramas and stuff i feel like just a lot of distractions socially a lot of burdens socially are going to be lessening up you might be feeling a little bit isolated during this time but that's completely normal this is just no during this time this is about you this is about your creative process this is about you building up that stability in your life all right, people are going to be coming in later in your life, but right now this is a time for you just to focus just on you. All right, it makes me think about that TikTok sound. Gotta put me first, Delicious. Gotta put me first from uh, Empire from Cookie. Let me know in the comments if you know uh, that reference, honey. All right, I used to love me some Empire, darling. But people in pile number two, that is a tarot reading that I have for you. All right, thank you for for <laughs> participating in my weekly pick a card reading. I also do weekly zodiac readings, darling. All right, so be sure to check out your zodiac reading as well. If you want to book a private personal reading with me, my website's linked down in the comments below. Simply velka.com be sure to follow me on tiktok and instagram as well simply velka and my beautiful darlings i hope i get to see you and connect with you sometime in the near future thank you so much for trusting me to do your tarot cards bye darling all right my beautiful darlings in pile number three you guys chose the rhino spirit associated with the number 50 equating to five in numerology so be sure to write down the number five to look up at a later point to see what messages are relevant you have the rhino spirit talking about overcoming any obstacle all right so whatever difficulties that you guys have been going through all right this week you guys are going to be making a lot of forward grounds in terms of figuring those obstacles out we also have the four swords coming in here solitude and healing here all right a lot of i feel as if this is going to be a week of where you guys just really crack down buckling down and honoring your commitments i feel I feel as if this is going to be a week of where you are really tackling that to-do list. All right. I'll, I just get this sense here of just like, like just such a heavy weight from you guys finally releasing itself from you. And you'll be able to finally start living the rest of your life once you get this taken care of. But this is going to be a week of where I feel like it's really going to be essential for you guys to be at your best. Make sure you're getting plenty of sleep, darling. Okay. Um because it's like this is going to be the week that you can make your biggest breakthrough i feel this last bridge shuffle and uh, like the first card came out <laughs> we have this queen of swords energy coming in here Ooh, so is this obstacle coming in in the shape of like people being an obstacle darling here because I see the sense of solitude coming in here, this Queen of Swords energy here. She's a card of very much so solitude through putting up some solid boundaries here. She's putting her foot down. Gingers obviously don't matter, darling, right? But we're talking about a queen here. Yeah, it feels as if a lot of y'all's situations, the obstacle has just quite literally been people. People have been the problem here for you. You guys are finally releasing yourself from a situation that just has been toxic to you and then toxic and then we pull the ten of swords coming in here okay darling all right i feel as if you guys are going to be going ghost for a while i feel like for you guys here you guys are at this point where you're just like you're just done i feel as if you're pushed to your breaking point here in the sense of being like you just can't it's like you finally were able to identify who were putting who was putting all these swords in your back is what i feel because i feel like for a while you guys weren't able to really identify like why you have been feeling off why you have been feeling just the feelings that you've been feeling darling and i feel as if with this situation here this is a week where you finally identify the problem see the problem for what it is and then you're just done all right, the Ten of Swords, Tens representing closures. You're done with the situation. You're just like, you're not putting another sword in my back. If you try it again, try it and see what happens, right? That's very much so how it is. It's just like, try it again, honey, see what happens. Try to put another sword in my back, honey. Try to make this an Eleven of Swords. You're going to see what happens, okay? And you're going to like take those short swords and shove it up you know where here. <laughs> I like this. You have this Knight of Pentacles energy coming in here. So I don't want you guys this week to be really getting in your head about productivity. All right. And I know that sounds bad and like this hustle culture, honey. All right. But I don't want you to get in your head about it's almost as if like so much of what you needed to take care of on your to do list hasn't been stuff that's like 
affecting like your money, for example. It's stuff that you always have just been pushing off because you just always have had to manage these other situations here, right? And so you've never made the time for a week of where you pamper yourself, darling. Let's acknowledge that, right? Four swords, that's self-healing, like pampering yourself, having you time, right? When's the last time that you had me time, darling? That's what I want to ask you. When is the last time that you ha truly had me time where you weren't having to deal with something, right? where you always had to have your phone on to manage the situation here. Don't feel worried. Don't feel bad about um, just putting this, making this week about you. All right. And so also I want to point out with this Knight of Pentacles, by definition, the Knight of Pentacles talks about uh, uh, buckling down and honoring your commitments here by definition. So it's kind of funny that I um, pulled that Knight of Pentacles there for y'all. We have the King of Wands here. I feel like by the end of this week, you guys are going to really... I won't be surprised with whatever it is that you had to be that Queen of Swords about and be like, where you had to be like, mess around and find out with. I feel like by the end of this week, they end up coming back to you or like you come from this place of power, right? Where you're just like, you are the one in power here and they are the ones coming back trying to make amends trying to fix things with you here yeah devil energy coming in here this is very much so giving me an energy of like some situation craving a second chance or 30th chance darling how you do and some of y'all just give being too patient with this here and then the semper energy coming in so it's so interesting here, darling, right? You have all this healing here, right? You were pushed to this point. And now it's just like, by the end of this week, y'all are getting into this very bossed up energy. I wouldn't be surprised in the coming days, be anticipating some type of new sense of responsibility is what I feel. All right. Be anticipating some sense of new responsibility here. I wouldn't be surprised if something positive happens in your life here that then gets this part of the reason why this individual this energy here is trying to come back and be like oh hey you know you know let's figure things out again right because six of cups coming in here y'all have a history right y'all have a history but the thing is is this going to remain in the past chariot so really just i'm not here to tell y'all how to manage your connections right because y'all are adults and you're able to you know your situation better than i ever possibly could in a general reading but i feel as if you guys need to really practice some really as i said boundaries here with the queen of swords and really sticking to your guns here not feeling bad afterwards all right because this is a very persistent energy where it's just like you put your foot down right with this situation be like hey honey no more swords I'm not doing it anymore devil energy being like oh hey my intention wasn't to be that way i didn't know i was hurting you dad yada yada six is cups here you always end up being forgiving towards them understanding towards them because of the experiences and the time that you've known them and they're very insistent here all right so y'all need to make sure you practice that block button strong honey all right because i don't see this energy giving up without a fight you need to make sure that you keep up with this high elevated energy know that you are above this situation here all three of these court cards queen of swords uh, king of wands emperor energy they demand respect when people come to them they know to come correct or don't come at all all right and some of you guys might be uncomfortable with this idea of because some of you guys are people pleasers i feel you might be uncomfortable with this idea of being like a like putting your foot down but justice needs to happen you need to you need to come off as a bad guy essentially to just this person here to anybody else that does like just looking in they're just like okay yeah, yeah like the situation is ridiculous how did you manage this for so long a lover's energy hmm justice energy and lover's energy so it's really important for you guys i feel like to acknowledge that well yes this energy served you for a certain point in time i don't think it's serving you anymore i don't think it's serving you can i say that of course i can say that i don't feel like it's serving you anymore i feel like it's spirit already has something new planned for you a new connection new friendship something to replace this energy here but this energy only comes in 
if this is no longer taking up space, if this is no longer distracting you. So if this reading was for me, right? Because again, I'm not here to tell you what to do. If this reading was for me, I, I would say it's high time to uh, practice that block button, change that number, change your locks. All right, it's time to welcome in new energy, honey. Summer's coming, time to do that spring cleaning. And what I want to be pointing out to you guys here as well, the number five is associated with the Hierophant in Major Arcana. Hierophant represents that traditional, very committed energy to things that you always, like, I know the artwork doesn't showcase it very well, right? But um, the Hierophant is an energy of, like, working that job for a long period of time, being married to somebody, right? It's that long-term energy where it's, like, devotion, commitment being exuded here. All right, so really elevating this message of the what we got here. So I think it's really important for you guys to remember to look up the number five in numerology to see what messages is relevant with that situation that we were talking about. All right, so darlings in pile number three, that's the tarot reading that I have for you. Thank you so much for trusting me to do your tarot cards this week. All right, I do weekly zodiac readings on my channel as well, so be sure to check those out as well. And hopefully, I can see you sometime in the near future, darling. Remember, if you want to book a private tarot reading with me, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. Next to my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, both being Simply Velka, same as here. And I'll be connecting with you guys, hopefully, sometime soon. I love you so much, pile number three. Bye, y'all.